To test the Ferrari La Ferrari, we traveled to Italy to the storied Mark's personal track, Frano. Ferrari's offer was this, we could either test there, or not at all. We chose to test. The Frano circuit is nearly 2 miles long, a 13-turn roller coaster built on what was once Italian farmland. Our usual testing venues, where we gather our 0 to 60 mile per hour times, quarter mile acceleration, braking figures, and grip numbers are nothing like racetracks. Putting a car through our battery of tests calls for a long, flat straight, usually one more than a mile in length, as well as a 300-foot skid pad to assess lateral acceleration. But even when we test at our locations, Ferrari doesn't just let us jump into its cars and test them. An engineer watches the proceedings and provides an often valuable briefing on the subsystems of the car, and mechanics are there to swap out tires if necessary. When asked why all the bother, Ferrari says it wants the test to go smoothly and being there ensures that any problems that arise can be hammered out that day. Every modern Ferrari we've tested with the factory's knowledge also had the automaker's own test equipment inside the car to record what we're doing and, as they tell us, as a backup should our own test equipment fail. We find this generosity completely unnecessary, however, and, aside from a recent McLaren 650F test,